Hello and welcome to a very special edition of A Bomb's DIY VMH Special Edition. This DIY Special Edition is all about cockroaches. I have a little bit of a cockroach problem. I believe it started because I am a little bit lazy when it comes to cleaning, and that means sometimes I leave my food dishes out. Well, one day, I had made delightful popcorn. I had cooked it on the stove and seasoned the popcorn with salt and butter. I had left the pot at the foot of the couch. And when I looked into the pot in the morning as I went to check my computer downloads, I noticed that there were five little bastards crawling around in there. Up until this point, I had been squishing them. And this is pretty effective and quite enjoyable, but apparently it can cause disastrous effects, like cockroaches can dump off their egg cartridges. That's kind of what they are. Seriously, I've seen them hatch. Little freaking translucent tiny cockroaches and like a dead mother. It's weird. You see, what had happened with the popcorn container was that the pot sides were all greasy due to the butter. And when that buttery goodness gets on their feet, they can't crawl up the sides of the container. The second great thing is that they seem to love the scent of butter. So they go crawling into that popcorn container. I left the popcorn container out for a day or two and collected even more. I knew it was a success. My preferred method of killing them is the toilet. What you do is you flush the toilet, let it drain down, and dump the cockroaches in. Be sure to have the toilet quite full of the swirling water before you dump, because sometimes if the toilet's a little bit empty, the cockroaches can get splashed up on the side and who knows how you're going to get them? You have to put your hand in there in your dirty, gross toilet? I don't think so. So, what I've been doing, instead of leaving out the pot that I want to cook with, I've taken to using jars. Now, grab any jar that you have. Maybe you've saved it. Could it be a pickle jar? That's what mine was. And you put some butter around the underside kind of of the lip you know where it curls back in on itself this is an extra cautionary measure because maybe the cockroaches learn how to climb up vertical butter surfaces but are they going to be able to climb a inverted butter surface no never now you have an effective cockroach trap. Leave it in a corner, a dark cupboard, anywhere you think the cockroaches are. Usually you can tell because they shit everywhere and you can see their little black poops everywhere and it's annoying and you clean them up. Sometimes, if you use that cupboard a lot. And presto, you have a nice cockroach trap and you can catch all the cockroaches you want this cockroach trap was left over the summer, I think. And so it was quite filled, as you can see. And it's really quite magical. The circle of life, right in front of you. Cockroaches don't really need to eat anything, so you got to trap them and flush them down the toilet. 